Hello guys, Matthew here and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. Together with the release of Intel's new KB Lake platform and its 7th generation of their core CPU lineup, we also got a bunch of new series of motherboards based on the also new chipset which supports that same CPU lineup. Even though the existing Skylake generation of motherboards with chipsets like Z170, H170, B150 and so on also supports new KB Lake CPUs, Intel still decided to refresh that existing chip chipsets with few new features and greater expandability, so we got ourselves a new Z270 chipset based motherboards, one of which stands in front of me today, the MSI Z270 Gaming Pro Carbon. You will be able to see it in action soon as I'll be doing my Core i7-7700K review and overclocking video guide with it, so stay tuned for that. Once it's done I will link that video in the right top corner and in the description box of this video down below. As you can see MSI went in a little bit of a different direction for this generation of motherboards when it comes to styling and design of the product box. On the front you can clearly notice the McLaren P1 supercar with carbon body on it, although they've tried to mask its brand out, plus you can even see the Pirelli P0 tires on it. Maybe a bit unnecessary but it's cool looking nevertheless. Going to the back I'm finally seeing some useful information like technical specifications, overview of the board's main features like RGB LEDs, literally class 5 standard and so on, as well as a picture of the motherboard itself. Opening up the box, here we have some user manuals, optical disc with drivers and software, some cable label stickers, promotional material and so on. Here we have the IR shield, some cables for connecting up LED strips to the motherboard, two SATA cables and a two-way SLI bridge. And here we have the motherboard itself. With this model MSI decided to go basically completely black in terms of its visual design, which is a bit different from their last generation of Gaming Pro Z170 model, while also packing some chrome-like accents on the two main PCI Express X16 slots, which are actually using additional steel framing for greater strength, so they don't easily bend, together with an addition of MEI shielding. Through that same transformation went all four DDR4 RAM and two M.2 slots. Other than that, on the IR cover, passive heatsink around the socket and the Z270 chipset's heatsink, you will find these carbon-like inserts. Speaking of the chipset, besides supporting the new generation of KB Lake CPUs, this chipset also supports the last generation of Intel Skylake CPUs, alongside of having the same socket layout and 1151 pins. Compared to the previous Z170 chipset, the new Z270 brings in overall more available PCI Express 3.0 lanes, now 24 before 20, support for Intel's obtained memory technology and more PCI Express storage ports, while the number of total USB 3.0 and USB 2.0 ports remain the same, so unfortunately we won't see native USB 3.1 support from the chipset itself, but just with the third-party controllers. Putting that aside, as you can see, here we have your pretty standard layout for PCI Express slots, with three 3.0 physical X16 slots, two of them being capable of electrical X8 X8 configuration in a multi-GPU setup, that's for the SLI, while Crossfire can go up to three-way with the third PCI Express X16 slot on the bottom. Beside that, you will also get three 3.0 X1 slots. In between that, you can see two M.2 slots, one on the top and one on the bottom, and they are achieving their bandwidth through the X4 four PCI Express 3.0 lanes, so there's no fear of bottlenecking, while the second one gets a special shielding with thermal padding on it, in case you have a hot M.2 module. On the right outer edge of the board you will find your usual suspects, 24 pin ATX power connector, a total of 6 SATA 3 ports, two of them being separated on the bottom and standing upright, and a great addition of a second USB 3.0 header put under 90 degree angle, which is very useful for easier cable management. Of course on the bottom you will be greeted by a bunch of other headers, front panel 1, USB 2, audio, TPM and so on, coupled with the added LED headers for controlling and powering up LED strips, beside a really decent amount of 4-pin fan headers, a total of 6 of them scattered around the board. 
Moving back to the top of the board, behind that passive heatsink you'll find your 8-pin EPS power port and since we are already here, the Z270 Gaming Pro Carbon comes in with a 10 plus 2-phase digital power design, which together with improved and upgraded other components follow up MSI's military grade 5 standard, which should again in theory improve and bump up your overclocking potential, as well as system stability and longevity. In the left bottom corner you can see a dedicated area for the audio circuitry which MSI branded as Audio Boost 4 feature and which beside the upgraded capacitors and other audio components now holds the next generation of Realtek's audio chipset, the ALC1220, which should provide better audio experience. Of course that portion has MEI shielding around it and this time it's lit with RGB LEDs just like the chipset's heatsink and IO cover, all of it being controllable via MSI's Mystic Light software. Finally going to the back to check out the IOs, you'll be looking at your pretty common setup compared to the previous generations, Comba PS2 port, 2 USB 2.0 ports and 4 USB 3.0 ports, HDMI video output and so on, while the ones that stand out a bit are the USB 3.1 ports, one in type A and one in type C variation and the upgraded Intel's i219V Gigabit LAN port. That's it guys for this time from me, thank you once again for checking out the unboxing and preview of MSI's Z270 Gaming Pro Carbon motherboard. Feel free to toss me a thumbs up if you like this video, it helps me a lot, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to the Tactic YouTube channel or you can just check out some of my other videos from before.